Marathon's a funny one for me. Until this year, I'd say it was my arch nemesis that I'd never quite, I'd had some decent marathons, but I didn't think I'd ever fully reached my potential, what I could do. Um, and this year in London, when I ran my PB, I actually I think now I've finally got close to, I'd still like to go faster, but I think I'm sort of in the ballpark of where I ought to be, given um, how I've been running in the half marathons. So I think that's what I hate about the marathon is it's it's so unpredictable that any little thing, if it's not going quite right, it's magnified by 26. So any other distance, if you have an off day, it just comes, it's just, it's slightly slower. So you finish and you go, oh, that was a bit slower than I thought. With a marathon, you hit the wall, you blow up, and it all ends in a horrible, messy, spewy, it's just disgusting, it just goes really badly wrong and you crawl home and it's so much, it's so hard and, and so disappointing and I think, I think that's the thing about the marathon, it's when it goes badly, it goes really badly and you've got a long way to suffer um, and you, you know, you've wasted, you know, three, four months of training and that's all you've thought about is this marathon and then in one day it goes wrong. Um, and you can't do it again the next week, you have to wait another six months before you can do it again. And so that's really, that's the thing that's really hard to take with a marathon, um, is that it can, it can be so unpredictable. There's so many things that can go wrong and when they go wrong, they go wrong so badly. But then I think that's what's so great about the marathon is that when it goes right, which it does some of the time, um, it feels so good because you know you've put three to four months training in it, you know you've not thought about anything but else for three to four months. Um, so that's what's so great about the sense of achievement and have finally having been able to do it well, to get it right, um, it just, it, it makes it feel so much better than, than any other different di distance and the fact that you can't do as many of them. Um, and I think also the camaraderie with the marathon, um, you know, it, marathon runners, there is sort of, it's a, it's a different, it's a different beast, the marathon, so you do join a sort of very elite crowd. Um, and having completed a marathon and there are all sorts of things about the, the marathon that you don't know until you've actually run it so you join a sort of circle of people where you can nod knowingly when you talk about certain things um, and so they, they, yeah, the, the camaraderie and that's, you get that out in the court not so much maybe if you're running the women's only race it's, you're maybe a bit more isolated but certainly back in the masses there's definitely a very much a feel of, you know, we're in this together and it's like we're going to battle together and, you know, you don't just run a marathon, you battle a marathon, you know, you fight against a marathon. So being able to do it with thousands of other people and have them help you through it is, is quite a special thing and I don't think you quite get that in any other distance. It's the, it's the mar it's sort of reserved for the marathon. Yeah, the, the usual tips for the marathon, people have heard them a million times, is don't, um, don't go off too fast. Remember, it's a long way and it will feel, it'll feel okay at the start. Um, so, you know, it's, it's tempting to say, oh, I feel fine, I'm going to push on, but just, just hold back a little bit. Um, sometimes you get people saying, you know, if it, if it feels good, you're probably still going too fast. Slow down, run, go at what feels good and slow down. I'm not sure I necessarily agree with that. I think kind of later in my career, I'm actually realising that if it feels good, great, go for it. I'd be more inclined to say, don't waste that opportunity. Don't, don't be frightened to take a risk. Um, it won't always pay off, you know, especially in the marathon. Sometimes it's going to go wrong, but I also feel the satisfaction of having tried sometimes you feel better having tried and failed than not having tried at all um so i think this you know a lot of the advice with the marathon is very cautionary is it oh don't go too fast take it easy um i sort of think but you know maybe every now and again you have to go for it and take a bit of a risk but it also depends where you are in the marathon as well if it's your first marathon then yeah, maybe, maybe you're better off getting a feel for the distance, be very careful um, and finish it, being able to say, OK, well, that felt all right, I, you know, next time I'll do this. But if you're getting on if where you've run a few more marathons and you're trying to get faster, um, then sometimes you have to just believe in your ability, believe in the fact that you've put in the long runs, you've put in the miles, um, and that maybe this is the time to just take a wee bit of a risk. Because it does feel good when it feels like it's going well. You'd be amazed how much that can spur you on. Um, and make you run well. It, 
you know, lots of marathon runners do marathon pace tempo runs. I don't actually do any of that. I never run, go out and deliberately run for a long time at marathon pace. Um, I don't feel the need to practice that pace. Um, and I think, you know, when I ran my PB, I'd actually taken that out of my training completely and it had been more about pushing boundaries, about training as hard as I possibly could to get as fit as I possibly could and actually become a better athlete rather than just picking a, picking a pace and practicing it. It was more about um, pushing myself to be as fit as I possibly could be and then once you get into the race, um, the, the pace that you run at, it, you just run at what feels easy for you, or what feels comfortable, what feels like I can keep this, you know, okay this is a challenge but I can keep this going for 26 miles. Or even I can beat the person I'm running with, this person is not better than me, I will beat them. Um, so it, yeah, for, for me it's still, I think we're running a marathon, don't don't just do lots of long, slowish miles. Make sure that you're still doing short, sharp stuff as well. I think that's fairly key and something that's often missed out in marathon training. I eat a lot when I'm training for the marathon, but even that, I kind of tend to leave. I don't scientifically analyse my diet and weigh out all. I just, if I'm hungry, I eat. I tend to let my kind of, you know, I, like I said, I don't, I don't plan it, I just tend, I gradually start to naturally, I'll eat more um, when, I'm, when I'm doing high mileage, um, and, but I don't think too much about it, I just sort of let it happen naturally. I sort of find that every time I walk past the cupboard, the cereal box comes out and I have a handful of cereal. I don't do that when I'm not training, I do it when I'm training a lot, so I just, yeah, I, I sort of, I try and be, um, let it be kind of natural, and I don't take, I'm not into supplements or beetroot juice or... You know, I, I just a, a healthy balanced, balanced diet is enough for me, and it means I can enjoy eat, eating as well. London <laughs> by a mile, um, well, lots of reasons because it's a it's a it's a home race for me, so it's a home event. So I go out in London, and the number of people shouting my name, like specifically shouting for me because I'm a British athlete is phenomenal, it's just lots of people, you hear your name all the time. My family and friends can easily travel. I like that it's on the telly, so even like the build up to the marathon, I can start getting psyched up for the race in the week before because you start to see the, the adverts start to appear on the telly and um, it's just such a brilliant event in this country. People that are not really into running watch the London Marathon, so there's a lot of hype around it. Um, and I also think it is, even if you're not from the UK and you don't get that home advantage, it's a good flat fast course, the weather is usually good, it's well organised, great fields um, and it's, so it's, it's, I think it probably is the best marathon in the world. Um, I haven't, you know, I've, I've run other marathons, I've run championship marathons, um, but I still, every year I still want to come back to London because um, it's, it's one of the best races there is.